Let's see how the RTX 4070 Super installed in the CyberPower PC powered by MSI performs in Horizon Forbidden West. As you can see, I've spent quite a few hours in the game already. Please familiarize yourself with the full system specifications on the screen now. And if you want to order this PC for yourself, then the link will be in the description below. Or if you want to build one yourself, then I'll leave all the parts, all the links in the description below as well. Also, it is worth noting that I will be using the MSI G321CU 4K 144Hz monitor to experience this game today. Firstly, allow me to show you the graphics settings and resolution I've been using to play this game. And I'm actually enjoying it very, very much. Check it out. So we are at 4K with DLSS on quality and frame generation enabled. But most importantly, this is very high quality preset. Check it out. Also, field of view is set to the maximum, which makes the game even more GPU demanding. I've set sharpness to 1 and I've disabled all these nasty things that blur or just make the image worse in any way and i'll be honest with you check it out it is very smooth thanks to frame generation actually because i'll show you later on uh, how the game performs without frame generation and uh, even in such a demanding area right here where there is like a lot of details a lot of npcs still getting 70 plus fps and most importantly check out that frame time graph it is not completely flat but it is almost flat and i can definitely feel it because on the monitor the image is smooth it's a beautiful game i'm still amazed by her hair check out alloy's hair <laughs> it is just so bouncy I'm not even sure if it's uh, realistic or not but it is very cool as for the memory consumption, I haven't seen any problems related to it because uh, take a look at that. We're using just above 11 gigabytes, but um, I've been playing this game for many hours now uh, using these exact settings and I haven't experienced any problems during gameplay. The only problems that I did experience is occasionally uh, the FPS will drop in cutscenes but it doesn't happen very often and it's not too distracting so i can definitely live with that and hopefully game devs will fix it because there's already been two patches and to me it appears that uh, it is getting better because i've been experiencing fewer of those fps drops and starters during cutscenes but if you're interested in how this game runs without frame generation then here we go disable frame gen And yeah, the FPS stays at around 60 to 70. This is one of the GPU demanding areas in the game. And yeah, as you can see from that frame time graph, the gameplay is not as smooth as with frame generation enabled. I don't know why, but yeah. For the purpose of just testing it out, um, I've been playing this game on these settings as well for about an hour and to be honest with you it was fine because most of the times you're just out and about and it doesn't bother me that much there. Let's just get out of the town and have a look at the performance in the fields. As you can see, when you're outside, the FPS doesn't change that much, so it is pretty similar. And just for the sake of it, uh, let's enter a combat. Let's just uh, fight these machines over here. Slice them up real nice. Yes, let's go. Fight me! Fight me! <laughs> yeah, there are no FPS drops. 
so this game is pretty well optimized. I'm very happy with how this port turned out. Even on day one, it ran very well. But let me just show you fighting with frame generation enabled. There we go, we have a couple of machines here. As you can see, the FPS is much smoother now, thanks to frame generation. And uh, it is close to 80. So let's see. Let's do some hunting. Boom. Come here. Fight me. There's a... Oh. I'm stunned. Oh, he's a wily one. But I'll get him. Oh. Dodge, dodge, roll. Dodge. <laughs> the combat in this game is just amazing. I love it so much. Amazing. Yeah, as you can see, the performance is great. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying this game so much. And to be honest with you, I did not expect this game to run on the 4070 Super at 4K on the highest quality preset, even with DLSS. But yeah, without DLSS, it is not as pleasant. That's why I settled on playing this game with DLSS set to quality mode and frame generation enabled. It is the best experience. If you are dead set on not using any DLSS or frame generation technologies, then you will have to lower those graphics settings. Because check this out, so we are still on very high preset, no frame generation, no DLSS, and this is the performance that you can expect. You know, below 50 FPS, definitely not a great experience. Not worthy of this game, because it is a glorious game, beautiful, and yeah, the performance is not that great. There are certain areas where the FPS is above 50, but mm, yeah, main need stays below 50, I would say from my experience. So we'll have to lower the graphics preset, so let's check out high preset first. Surprisingly, even on high preset, FPS in the town is pretty much the same. Stays around 50, below 50. Let's have a look if it will change when we get out of the town. Yeah, for some reason I don't see any changes. This is weird. We are definitely on high preset, because check it out, high, high, high. Hmm, very strange, very strange behavior, because the FPS is pretty much the same as we've seen on very high preset. And I've even reloaded the game to make sure that all the settings have been applied properly, because from time to time, uh, this game just won't apply the correct preset or correct settings, Sometimes it gets a little bit broken, that's why I quit the game and reload it every time I change the settings. Shall we try medium settings? Okay, the FPS is more or less close to 60 now on medium preset without DLSS, without frame generation, so... Uh, basically that is what you have to sacrifice if you want to play this game without NVIDIA's uh, frame generation and upscaling technologies. I would say that it is not worth it, because uh, even though on medium this game still looks pretty good, uh, some of the textures uh, do not look as good, and draw distance for some of the higher quality textures is pretty abysmal. So for example, that blight over there, it looks flat and 
you know, not that many details in that. But as we move closer, it starts appearing on the ground. And now it's getting flat. So yeah, it takes just, I don't know, what is that, like 10 meters in game, even less, to lose quality. Mm, yeah, in my opinion, it is definitely worth it playing this game on very high preset with DLSS quality and frame generation, as I have shown you previously. 1440p is the resolution the 4070 Super has been made for. So let's try running this game without the help of DLSS or frame generation on very high preset for now. I'll show you how the game performs using those technologies a little bit later in the video. But check this out. Native resolution 1440p and the FPS is uh, above 70. But what slightly worries me is that frame time graph. It is still not flat. Mm. However, I must say that the gameplay feels pretty smooth. So it's not a big issue. Let's do a little bit of fighting just to check out the performance. There we go. Bam. Bam, bam. But let's try how the game will perform with DLSS set to quality mode. Check it out. 80 plus FPS, sometimes even over 90. Oh, 100. That is great. Have a look at this. Oh yeah. Still, take a look at that frame time graph. It is not flat, still. It used to be flat uh, at 4K uh, when I had frame generation enabled. But maybe we are aiming for 120 FPS experience in this game at 1440p. So let's try and achieve that with frame generation. And right off the bat, Take a look at that frame time graph. It is much better and I can actually feel it on the screen. Looking at the monitor, oh, it is so much smoother. Yeah, I like it better this way. Well, I hope that game developers will fix that frame time issue at the moment. It appears that um, if you want a completely smooth experience, then you have to use frame generation. And take a look at that performance. We are at well above 100 FPS. However, it is not quite consistent 120, so even if we lock it, it's not gonna be, you know, 120. If I were to lock the FPS on this card, in this game, then I would do it at 90 FPS. Just lock it to 90 FPS and enjoy the game. Let's hunt this beast. Look at it, it's magnificent. Let's try and sneak up on one. Oh, it's on full alert. Let's try and get him. Yeah, critical strike. And no one even bats an eye. One more. GG. I wonder, can we achieve 120 FPS if we reduce the graphics quality to high, probably? I'm not sure, because uh, at 4K, for some reason, selecting high graphics preset didn't really do much in terms of like <laughs> improving our FPS, but we'll see how it does at 1440p. Ah, have a look at that. We are closer to that 120 FPS target, however, it still drops below 120 from time to time, so... It's not quite there yet. 
unfortunately I don't think it's possible uh, without like reducing the graphics quality way too much it is definitely not worth it reducing the graphics quality even further to medium because yeah it doesn't look as nice on high preset the game still looks brilliant so that's not an issue however I would still just leave it on very high use DLSS set to quality mode and frame generation enabled that is the best experience Although I don't think anyone will be using the 4070 Super graphics card to play this game at 1080p, but uh, for science, we'll do that. Because I'm curious myself what kind of performance we can expect from this game on very high preset uh, <laughs> with the 4070 Super. Although I am going to disable depth of field. And surprisingly, the performance isn't even that great. Check it out. We are getting 70, 80 plus FPS at 1080p. Yeah, the game doesn't look as good as at 1440p. Nowhere near as good. And don't even compare it to 4K. I would definitely recommend playing this game at a higher resolution because it is just so gorgeous. I really feel like I'm missing out at 1080p. Yeah, DLSS at 1080p doesn't look good, but let's check out frame generation. Yeah, and this is pretty much 120 FPS experience, consistent. Check it out, 140, 135, uh, 119, so not exactly super consistent, but still, I think you can lock it at 120 at 1080p. But still, I very much prefer playing this game at 4K resolution on this graphics card because it is possible, it looks great, it performs well. In my opinion, if you have the 4070 Super graphics card or if you're planning on buying one, then the best way to experience this game is at 4K resolution. Because, check it out, the game looks absolutely gorgeous this is very high preset, DLSS set to quality mode and frame generation enabled. That's the way I am playing this game for many hours now and I am enjoying it very very much. Level of detail is just brilliant. Any like small details, grass or moss at 4K resolution, it looks amazing compared to 1440p and 1080p is not even a competition. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, then give it a like to reward my work and subscribe for more if you haven't already. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.